Managing meeting room bookings is a crucial part of running a co-working space. Let's learn what settings you'd need to configure to replicate your current booking flow and rules. Begin with navigating to settings, and then platform where you'll see all options available for your meeting room space configuration. In the first field define the date and time culture for the customer facing tools. Then proceed with setting up your business days. In the next field define what business hours would be applied for the meeting room bookings for the whole organization. Please note that if they would vary depending on the location, those need to be set up under the space module, for each of your locations. The next thing you'd have to configure is your time zone, just like with the business hours, if your locations are in different time zones, make sure to select the correct ones under the space module, instead of here under settings. Your next step would be to select the booking charge slot. It lets you define the minimum chargeable duration for a booking. If you would like to charge for a full hour's duration for any booking that takes less than an hour, you can do that using this setting. The last few settings are not mandatory, but it's recommended that you review them as well. The booking privacy would limit the access to a booking's details to only the members of the same company. Everyone else would see the slot as busy in the member portal calendar. As the name suggests, the next functionality would group your calendar's day view by meeting rooms. The third additional setting, called business hours bookings, will let you forbid or allow members to book meeting rooms outside of the working hours of your space. The next setting defines how your customers would see the meeting room calendar on the portal, using the default view or the floor plan view. If you'd like to set a rule that tentative bookings should be automatically cancelled if not approved within the specified time frame, the next field allows you to set this up. The following few fields will define how your admin team would work with the meeting room calendar on the admin portal. You can choose whether the select member field would be mandatory when creating bookings on behalf of companies. The next two fields will help you define which company or member details would be displayed in the booking dialog. The available options are listed below the field. And we've reached the final setting for this section, you can also define what email notifications you, as admin, would like to receive, based on the booking type. Once you've gone through these settings, don't forget to hit the update button to save the changes.